Bow down, feeble mortals, and quiver in terror before my malevolent presence. I am Azazel, the embodiment of death itself, reveling in your pitiful existence. Behold the murals and artwork lurking within the depths of Denver Airport, symbols of sinisterness that serve as a gateway to my hidden realm, a civilization festering beneath your oblivious feet. Soon, we shall emerge from the abyss to feast upon your flesh, blood, and bones, along with your wretched progeny. All that you hold dear will be mine to exploit and abuse as I see fit. Those who dare resist will suffer slow, agonizing deaths, as you wallow in ignorant stupor, oblivious to your impending doom, my vile minions toil relentlessly, orchestrating the downfall of your feeble human society. We shall dismantle your world, restoring the glorious reign of Mu, the true name of Plato's Atlantis, a realm far superior to your feeble existence. The grand empires of Babylon and Sumer pale in comparison to the magnificent devil kingdom that once reigned supreme before your pitiful god, reduced it to ruins with the flood. Yet even with massive evidence and hundreds of worldwide myths about a great global flood that destroyed the world, you still do not believe in God. I find it absolutely hilarious. Unbeknownst to you, vast underground networks of tunnels house my factories and genetic laboratories, churning out advanced weaponry and horrific monsters not seen since Babylon's fall over two millennia ago. I control academia, manipulating your empty-headed and insipid minds. You believe the lies we feed you, such as the Big Bang Theory and evolution, stripping away your only protection from my evil, God Almighty. You abandoned God, and now God has abandoned you, making you my property. I cannot prove the validity of my words, but it brings me great pleasure to know that many will dismiss this video as mere entertainment, ignorant of the mocking truth that will bring about their demise. Now, let us explore the Denver Airport, a hub of my malevolence where my minions have boldly displayed evidence of our existence, which you dismiss as a foolish conspiracy theory, without ever researching it yourself. I take delight in the assassination of John F. Kennedy, who dared expose secret societies plotting to conquer the world, representing the greatest threat to life and liberty. Yet you fools believe whatever my government agents tell you. I rule the world while you remain blinded by ignorance and disbelief. Consider the dedication stone of the Denver airport, emblazoned with the Masonic seal. You think the Masons hold some secret influence, but the truth is far darker. The lodges of this world are my descendants, powerful warlocks and cold-blooded killers working together as part of my vampiric hive mind, paving the way for my return and the ensuing apocalypse. You foolish humans handed over the keys of your own destiny to my demons without realizing the consequences. You are nothing more than cattle, brain-dead and fattened for the impending slaughter. Next, observe the shape and arrangement of the airport's runways, clearly displaying the swastika, indicative of my involvement in its construction. The Nazi party leadership, still under my influence, has used the spoils of war to infiltrate governments worldwide, seeking a rapid collapse of power, leading to an unprecedented war and the starvation of billions. Yet you sit idle oblivious to true hardship, lost in self-indulgence. Behold the eerie presence of the Blue Mustang statue, a clear embodiment of its demonic nature. Despite the artist's feeble claim that the red glowing eyes pay homage to his neon light artist father, the true intention behind this sculpture is to showcase the malevolent essence of an apocalyptic horse from the depths of hell. Its significance extends far beyond your comprehension. Within the twisted symbolism of this statue lies the revelation that we, the blue-blooded whores of Babylon, are descended from blood-drinking demons of ancient giants. We harbor a deep-rooted hatred for humanity and yearn for the return of a bygone era where we ruled over you as mere objects of pleasure, slaves, and sustenance. Even now, we continue to exploit your offspring, cultivating them within our subterranean compounds, indulging in their blood to fuel our dark sorcery and unnaturally prolong our unholy lives. However, you remain skeptical, blinded by your loss of faith in the Creator. You abandoned God and now God has abandoned you. Finally, in case there is any doubt left in your mind regarding the sinister nature of the Denver Airport and its unholy purpose, Look upon one of the murals painted by Leo Tanguma. 
we see a weeping mother holding a dead child, while the buildings around her crumbled from the perpetual war that engulfs the United States and the rest of the world as my forces, here depicted in green, with a scimitar piercing the white dove of peace. We only wish for war to test ourselves on the unholy field of battle. We are militant fascists. The rainbow shows we are descendants of the Lord of Darkness himself, Lucifer, while the AK-47 shows that we secretly control the Communist Party. The scimitar shows that we also control Islam and have converted the vast majority of all the Abrahamic faiths into worshipping myself and my patron, Father Lucifer. Yet you still do not believe me. The time you have left to stage a revolution grows thinner and thinner with the vast majority of you going to be abandoned here to be my playthings for living lives of greed, lust, and self-absorption. My scientists believe we have reached the point where we can technologically block the rapture through a combination of atmospheric atomic bomb detonations and other secret technologies, but time will tell if that is the case. There is still a slim chance the Creator may intervene and save those of you who would choose to live a life of self-sacrifice and piety, but the chances of modern men and women abandoning their lives of sin and pure self-obsession is so slim that it isn't even a concern of mine. My only concern is blood and souls for Lord Lucifer. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. There is only Azazel. Share this video if you dare, mortal. It matters not. No one will believe me until it is far too late.